Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. And I have some new news concerning Errol the Truth Spence. You know, Errol Spence responded. And the way he responded was rather strange. Okay, and I'm going to let you guys listen to the way he responded in regards to Terrence Crawford and Bob Arum. Okay, um, this is what he had to say. You know, obviously, it looks like his promoter is, is, you know, they look like they're on the way out. And given that, I would think uh, if he becomes a free agent, this fight becomes a little bit more realistic, a little bit more possible to make, right? Could be. I don't know. I don't know how that work. I ain't never had a promoter, so. Wow. Hmm. Could be. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. I never had a promoter, so. This tells me two things. One, the energy ain't there. I see, I feel reluctancy, okay, in the in low energy. And two, I see cockiness, okay, or attempted cockiness, because this shit's about to get counterpunched. Because he said he doesn't have a boss. And that's a big contradiction of Errol Spence. And a lot of people say, well, why do you rag on Errol Spence? Because Errol Spence is, is, is turning in to all these other fighters that think they're free and they're not. That think they're their own boss and they're really not. Why do I say that? It's because this is what Errol Spence had to say. He said, <clears throat> I could have a lot of mega fights. It takes quite a few pounds to get down to 147. I wouldn't have any problems fighting at 160, but at the end of the day, it's down to the guys in the suits. Who do you think the guys in the suits are? The promoters. Oh, wait, I thought you didn't have a promoter, Errol Spence. What are you talking about? You're talking about Al Heyman. You're talking about those guys like Leonard Ellaby, which he's a part of TMT Money Team, but it's all Al Heyman. You're talking about your advisor, which is also your promoter. It's like Sam Rothstein in Casino. He really runs the casino, but he has a title saying that he's otherwise just for the sake of not being exploited in a certain way or looked at as a monopoly, but that's exactly what it is. Okay, if anybody knows anything about Sam Rothstein, okay, or Sam Rothens, Rothenhall or whatnot, but... Al Heyman calls the shots. If he was his own boss, when he had that confrontation with Terrence Crawford and Terrence Crawford stood up to him and looked him dead in his eye, I want you and you're no boogeyman. Come fight me. What did he have to say? Uh, you know, I talked to Al. Why do you have to talk to Al Heyman? You're your own box, boss. You're your own boss. You're not fucking Floyd. And this is the problem. People are acting like they're Floyd Mayweather. I mean, Floyd Money Mayweather. They skip right over Pretty Boy and pretended to be Floyd Money Mayweather. These guys are fucking actors, and they're not. They're very bad actors. Stick to fighting. Stick to the humbleness and the acknowledgement of who controls your career. If someone else controls your career, just say so. But don't lie to people, because we know it's a lie. We know with the way you responded, man, I don't know, possibly. That's not any sign that you want to fight Terrence Crawford. And I know what it comes down to. Yeah, Canelo Alvarez in the same situation, but when it comes to Canelo, he wants to fight Canelo. Okay, cool. Fight Canelo then. Fight Canelo because when it comes to Terrence Crawford, he's a threat. He is an absolute threat to you. You've been running from this guy forever. And you call him light in the ass. He light in the ass. I'll punish him. I'll stop him. Okay, well, stop him. Fight him then. See, that's the problem. And I think what's happening with this situation, he doesn't want to talk too much right now because the time is coming when Terrence Bud Crawford is going to leave Bob's ass behind in the dust. He might leave it before this time next year. He might leave Bob Arum based on what happened recently, based on the things that Bob Arum has said about Terrence Crawford. He could buy him out of the contract. After all, he's overpaid Terrence Crawford. Pretty much he's paid him what he was worth. So Terrence Crawford could say, you know what? Fuck you, Bob. We're done. And let me get on with my career. And you know what that's going to happen with Errol Spence? The, com the, the, the commentators, the fans, the people that ride with Errol Spence, some of them, because some of them are just diluted and they're just yes men, right? They're going to want to know, when are you going to fight Terrence Crawford, the other champion at the welterweight division, instead of a Pacquiao, and we don't know when he's going to fight or who he's going to fight. Counterpunch. So this is what we're dealing with. 
You can't say I'm your own boss, then you say, but at the end of the day, it, it, it's down to the guys in the suits. What? Come on, man. Let's be real. You're not, you look, you're not the top dog at welterweight until you fight Terrence Bud Crawford. And if I'm Terrence Bud Crawford, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. Become a free agent like Canelo. Because if you sign a P, if you sign a PBC contract, I've said this before. If he signs that, he can end up like Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao signed to do what? At the, with the PBC, in the PBC. Fight Floyd Mayweather. Did he ever fucking fight Floyd Mayweather again? No, he did not. Floyd tricked him into bringing him over. And he took on all these fucking young guys and shame on them. They all got their ass beat. Matisse, Broner, and fucking Thurman. They all got whooped. They all got beat. Okay? But I don't think that was supposed to happen the way it went down. They supposed to fought, and what Mayweather was going to do, he was going to drag Manny Pacquiao's in there to do something that he fucking wouldn't do. Okay? He wouldn't do in a million fucking years fight Keith Thurman or fight uh, 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 Adrian Brown. He wouldn't do that. He's not going to do that because then people will see that the diminished skills that he's learned, that, that we're seeing from him being the age that he is, he's going to struggle with those younger guys. So he wanted to guinea pig Manny Pacquiao to do the same thing. So saying all that to say this, what makes you think that shit won't happen to Terrence Crawford if he signs a two to three year contract with the PBC? So they can wait that motherfucker out. Al Heyman's primary interest will still be Errol Spence. And then that fight won't happen anyway until fucking Terrence Crawford is 35, 36. And that'll make Errol Spence about 32, 33. Counterpunch. Okay, so that is the thing with these type of promoters, and you have to be careful. So everybody's saying, go to the PBC, go to the PBC. But that's not necessarily the best thing Terrence Crawford should do. Terrence Crawford is just trying to fight the best. These guys are not trying to fight the best. They're trying to fight fights and get paid a high amount of money for low risk. They're trying to pretend like they're their own boss and they know damn well they're not. And they live on an island of their own. All of them think the same shit. I call it brainwashed, delusional uh, 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 thinking, all types of shit. Maybe it's the sweet tongue of Al Heyman making them think they're their own boss and they know damn well they're not. Because when they start asking questions like that, he can't answer for himself. I, I don't know. I never had it on boss. But then again, when he asked you, when are you going to fight me? Oh, Al, uh, Al Heyman said, I fight Pacquiao, Thurman, Porter. Okay, why do you have to ask that again? So we're back to that again. So each and every one of these guys that claim they're their own boss, they have to answer to someone. That's their boss. If they, in case they didn't know. But Errol Spence is not showing me that he wants to fight Terrence Crawford. He just doesn't want to fight the guy. It's not in a PBC fighter's plans to fight the toughest fights. Okay, it's not. And like I told people, even Errol Spence, it took him a couple years before he even got a Sean Porter fight. He had to fight the Kell Brooks and stuff like that even to become relevant. Okay? So it wasn't like he was, because he was a PBC fighter, he got what he wants. That's not always the case. And that's no guarantee that Terrence Crawford is going to have the same type of uh, thing that happens to him. It, it, there's no there's no doubt about it. I think Terrence Crawford, if he signs a two or three year contract with PBC, they're going to fuck him. They're going to fuck him. They're going to wait him out. They're going to wait out all that prime time that he needs to show while he's in his prime what he can do with all these other fighters that he know he can beat, that he wants to fight. That's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Errol Spence's comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.